Hello and welcome back to the Oregon Makers channel. Here is the long-awaited installation video of the wine cellar. Here is the original design. Did in, I did it in SketchUp. Um, two racks that are similar on either side. The cascade rack down the middle and then the diamond bends against the wall with the door. And the little magnum bin and desk. And I have separate videos on the diamond bin and the magnum bin and how I made the ladders that I was going to put all this racking together. So let's get going. Good morning. Uh, installation day of the wine cellar. So let's take a look at the space. It's in our client's garage. I have everything staged for the racking. Um, the diamond bands will come in later. It's going to be in this room. They put a nice LVT floor down, matches the rest of their house. So, not a huge room, but it's going to hold a lot of wine. High ceilings, it's nice. So the big wine racking is going to go behind the door and all along this wall. And then on the opposite wall will be a small set of racks. The diamond bands will go against the door here. And up the middle will be the cascade bins, the ones that stack down like this. So the door is only six feet tall, 80 inches or six, whatever. And all the racking's eight feet. So I get to build it all inside the room. So wish me luck. Here we go. So here I am putting together the bigger of the two wall racks and I have a framing square clamped to the first ladder you can see in the left hand corner and I have one of the racks 90 degrees there to the right and I'm just kind of using that as a gauge and I'm clamping the horizontal supports to that until I can go far enough to have it stand by itself. So just uh, reaching it over, grabbing a new rack. I have blocks cut at the distance that the racks are apart from each other. And uh, just putting those in between, clamping it tight. And right now I'm just nailing on the back, uh, the lower three horizontal pieces. That's enough to make it stand up on its own. And I'll catch up with the uh, other horizontal supports on the back and the front here shortly. You'll see that. But it's just a matter of kind of getting in sync and getting everything to roll along smoothly. I know it's so I, I pretty. Cannot wait. It's so pretty. All the yeah. The, the, here's the sad part. All that wine that you've moved now three times back and forth. Yeah. When you put it in here, there's going to be so much open space. You're going to go, fuck. Really? I think so. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know that just means that means that we have some room. We have room. We have room to. I know. You can organize like crazy. Wow. But that gives us room to put stuff. You can go buy more yeah, stuff. Yeah, I gotta like figure. I gotta. Figure. Yeah.
So I had a good stopping point for the day here. Here's my progress so far with the Cascade Rack. And one of the nicest things about where this house is and where I live is the view. Uh, the ocean, you can kind of see the river right before you get to the ocean. And the stack rock is out there a mile offshore third largest monolith in the world and the neighborhood. So it's really difficult to film in here while doing baseboard and shoe molding because it's such a tight spot. So I'll show you what I've got going here. There's the shoe and the base on everything. These I already kind of had baseboard, but baseboard at the back. And because the floor really dives down here at the back. Like when they floated the floor, it kind of pulled up. So there's a hump, like the last six inches. So that was difficult. I had to shim everything up. And then the cascade rack, I couldn't really attach it to the wall. This is the cascade rack, see? Oh, kind of water falls down. Uh, because the wall studs were not cooperating. So the two little ledger screws, the little black dots you see there, um, I attached the baseboard to the rack and then attached it to the wall with the ledger screws there. So it's really secure against the rack and then that's secure against the wall. And then the same here, I have another ledger that are in the studs and then screwed the racking into the ledger. That was kind of the only way I could attach that to the wall. Because we are technically in earthquake tsunami, even though this is a freestanding unit. Um, so that's how I attached the wall. Here we are at the wine cellar door. And if you have it in for like party mode, you can have all your bottles on display that are kind of lit up. We did LED lights kind of back up in here. And they're all controlled by a switch, which is outside the cellar door. So it looks really cool, I think. And this is kind of what it looks like when all the lights are on. So here's the Magnum bin with the desk. You saw that. I'll link the video of this build. And then the cascade rack, which the top of each will hold a Magnum. And so they've got all their Magnum stuff there. And then some of the fancy boxes. And then the smaller racking. And so like I've told you before, if you buy a case of wine, you can put what the case is, and then there's room for 11 bottles down below. And then we've got behind the door, closing the door here. So 
client has pretty much, hasn't filled it. I'd say it's about 90, 80% full. There's still some room. And then there's room up the top to put, you know, the fancy cases, just more for artwork and whatnot. And I'm back when I move away, so the diamond bands kind of did that. Those will hold about 100 bottles in the big full-size one and about 50 bottles in the halfy. And the initial idea was for champagne and odd-size bottles, but they're using it for other stuff. So yeah, wine cellar is complete. looks fantastic. C customer is going to use a software program, I think Seller Tracker, and then she's got these little collars. And so she'll put like a UPC code or something on here. And then if they have a party and somebody wants to come down and pull a bottle of wine, they can just take the bottle out on the table and then just take the collar off and then leave the collar in a basket or something. And then she can come back in and do her inventory adjustments on the cellar. That's kind of the idea for the desk. And then, surprise, there's not a bottle opener down here. I should probably give them one. So that's kind of the whole purpose of the desk. And then there's the plug. And then they've got a temperature hydrometer in here. Staying at 65 degrees. We are on the Oregon coast and it's in a concrete um, room. This is concrete on the sides, probably about up to here. And then it's stud framed above that, but it's all insulated. And green board, which is the waterproof stuff. Because in the future, I don't know if you can see, I got a little plug up there. Um, if necessary, we'll put a cooler chiller above the door so we plan for that we'll see how it goes i think 65 uh, will work great uh, the seller i have 68 was year round kind of average um, so yeah here is the wine cellar full getting full of wine so that's how we made it from design to the final product. And I'll put links for the other videos at the end. And if you would like me to design a wine cellar for you, uh, let me know.